Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. We're on day 11, making inputs and controls, and today I would like to make a touch interface, touch button interface. Uh, we're going to base that on a video description that SynthDIY guy already did. In his video he etched a PCB which he then uh, made the circuit around. And that is one of many ways that you can make touch interfaces. So you can etch it or if you have uh, electronic paint, uh, electric paint, Bare Conductive I know makes this. Uh, there are other brands as well. This is just the ones I have that you can actually paint with a brush uh, or uh, this one, this is circuit. What is this? This is circuit scribe electronics. Um, so it's a it's a pen which has some um, conductive material in the ink, and you can actually draw your circuit. And if you do use paint or pencils that are conductive, you can use templates like this uh, to uh, make nice panels. You can also use tin foil. Uh, you just solder tin foil on a board uh, or a panel and then in a special way which I will show you um, I won't show you how to glue the tin foil. I will show you how the what, what pattern needs to be made for it to work. Uh, and then of course you can make a PCB, which I have done because I like making PCBs. That's my new hobby. Uh, so this is a simple PCB. Uh, you can find this in the shop. It has four touch inputs up here and then four uh, output for gates or CV, whatever you'd like. Uh, and on the back you just have uh, surface mount if you want uh, so there's no hole through these because that would look weird uh, and uh, so therefore surface mount but you just solder cables to the back I'll show you in a bit uh, but the the theory behind it is the same for all of these uh, as I said you can buy these in the shop but I will also leave you with a Gerber file or a link to ECEDA for the outline of this board with the mounting holes and the holes for the uh, outputs but with no panel well, and touch panels which means that you can make your own if you'd like uh, and if you do I would love to see what you make because uh, it's always fun to see other people's uh, imagination what you can think up uh, and uh, so if you really want your personal touch on this uh, just order it's usually a 10 pack I think you can go down to a 5 pack of these uh, from uh, any PCB manufacturing service I'd also like to say thank you to my patrons who support this uh, work I do uh, and with their support they get some uh, background information and a glimpse of the craziness that is behind the scenes from time to time um, and you can also become a patron over on patreon.com uh, link in the description with that let's uh, go through how we can so we're gonna go through how to build this circuit and also how you can uh, make your own PCB of this one uh, in uh, ECEDA in our case but in any software as well. So let's go. So to ex explain how this touch technique works, it is basically uh, two pads. So here's one pad and here is another pad. And depending on how much, so your finger is taking the voltage or power from one of these pads and over to the other one so the harder you press with your finger the more the more uh, 
space or area of your finger is pressed towards these two nodes, and that means that more voltage is going to go, or more current as well, I guess, is going to go through your finger and between these two uh, pads. Uh, and how I built this is technically, yeah, you in this case you see it's just traces that are interconnected and then the other one of course cannot touch the first one. So as long as they're apart, this is two different traces and they're very close to each other and that's because to be able to get a, a good touch uh, in a quick uh, quick manner these uh, so so you won't have any holes you can have holes of course if you want to uh, but I just use vias so it's really really tiny holes so you barely see them uh, and these six up here and the six down here is mainly for um, aesthetics doesn't really have a purpose but this one down here is the one that connects this pad to the bottom and the one up here is the one that connects this one to the bottom and if we remove the top layer we see on the bottom layer let's remove the solder mask and stuff We see here that uh, even on the back side, I just added this because it was fun, I guess. <laughs> uh, so there's one via is connected to these three pins here, and the other one is connected to these three. So this is just two terminals on the back that you have that you can work with to add just solder cables to these. Uh, to these soldering pads and then uh, go over to a protoboard or something and you continue doing the circuit there. So as I said I'm going to leave you with this one but in a in a stripped down version so you can make your own. So let's do that and that and it's not going to be modular in a week it's gonna be whatever you call your modular uh, and this one I'm gonna let's remove all these so in the end this is what you'll have uh, a little bit less there and then you can just go right ahead and make your own design. And as I said, please let me know what you make. So let's look uh, at how we do the circuit instead. So I'd like to make two versions of uh, touch. Uh, one is CV and one is gate. And the first with just CV is the one that SynthDIY guy did. Uh, so how you do that is you take plus in on one side of the touch. Uh, so on one side you add plus to all the or each pad. Uh, and then the touch is kind is shown here like a potentiometer. And then after the touch, so on this side, uh, you add a one microfarad capacitor to ground. And the plus side is of course uh, towards the touch. On the output you can put a potentiometer or a resistor uh, and then also and that one is also connected to ground so that's a sensitive pot. I don't have a sensitive pot hole here so I can add the sensitive pot and either you can just you you could if you wanted you could add that one down here I guess if you want that or when you make your own version just make it one centimeter wider and you can add a sensitivity pot if you want if you'd like 
Uh, I've already made one, so this is the simplest one uh, that just has a pot and a capacitor. And the pot is mainly put in the middle to just have it. I don't, it's not supposed to be turned <laughs> once it's in the in the in the modular so might as well put the 5k resistor here or I'm going to in the next version I'm going to make put just a 1k resistor so let's go and try this one out first so here it is in the rack in the most basic configuration just one pot and one uh, capacitor on each of the circuits and now we have it hooked into uh, the pitch of one oscillator so the harder we press the higher it goes and the other one is uh, the frequency of a filter This one is not as responsive as uh, the the CV on the VCO. Probably would have needed a bigger signal. But you can still play with the frequency. I mean, if we so then. We change the initial frequency of the filter and that of course changes what we change with our finger. So that's the simple one. Uh, now let's look at uh, making it into a gate, into gates instead. So in this part of the video I was supposed to show you how to make take the CV signal of this one and make it into gates instead. That way we could do finger drumming really fast and responsive uh, would have been really awesome to have. Unfortunately my plan uh, didn't hold. It is now one week later after doing that and I've been sitting um, doing amongst other things trying different circuits I have three circuits here uh, which I tried that didn't work uh, taking making touch into gates uh, I don't think this should be that difficult of a problem uh, I might have just gone in a loop and can't get out of it so any ideas you might have, please leave them in the comments if you have circuit tips or anything like that. Uh, I will tell you, uh, I'll take some time here to tell you about the circuits that I did try. So the first idea I had that I really thought would work uh, was to just add a TL074, uh, make that into four voltage comparators, op amp compa comparators. Uh, with a really low threshold, so I put the threshold at 0 0.1 volts uh, so the second you just touch this it would make that into a uh, gate and that worked for two or three taps and then it stopped working and that's because you build up conductance over here when, with your finger uh, and so the voltage slowly slowly rised and when it was above the threshold you just got the uh, you got the gate out all the time so that didn't work maybe it works if I uh, make the threshold a bit larger of course um, but then I don't think it would be as responsive then I think you would have to press really hard and I want that just touching it just a little bit to uh, act on that so I started looking around the internet and I found a circuit that would work maybe 
it it uses a lot of chips 4077x nor chips uh, and it would uh, so quad x nor chips uh, and it needed to use one chip for each pad so four of these and um, but I only built one just to make sure that it worked or not that failed because I didn't have the chip so I when I saw the schematics and read it I thought it was just XORs but it is XNOR so exclusive NOR gates uh, and I didn't have any of those at hand so I'm waiting for a couple of those to arrive and then I can see if this one works it might work I, I don't know and then I looked up uh, I found another one uh, built around a Darlington uh, transistor which I on this breadboard just built with two normal transistors in a special configuration that turns it kind of into a Darlington transistor. Kind of works uh, when I touch the cables to each other and not when I just uh, with my fingers touch them together. Uh, so could be that I just need to change some resistors or something uh, to get the sensitivity higher on it. But so this is what happens sometimes and uh, I forget that many of you as, as well as me I'm also quite novice in, in this and and this is part of the process we can't make it all the time and and we we don't learn from the success we learn from our mistakes and this again this this mistake i had an idea it didn't work and that drives me further in and i found two new circuits and uh, now i know kind of what a darlington transistor is uh, and i can read more about that I wouldn't have done that without this mistake. Um, so it's good to know that I mean I show you a a post-produced video of me just doing everything and it seems like everything is just working all the time but there's a lot of this going on behind the scenes um, and I make a lot of mistakes so we all do we're human I'll leave you with this, uh, uh, sorry to leave you hanging, uh, but I guess we just have to make a part two of this video. And again, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments so I can look at that and maybe I'll find a way forward here. Also, if you make, uh, if you do make your own touch board or, or touch uh, interface, uh, send uh, put that in the comments as well link to images or video or something it would be fun to show that as well if i manage to make another part of these touch videos so we'll see um, i'll see you in the next episode uh, if it's about touch or if it's about something else i don't know we'll see until then take care bye